What's going on everyone? Welcome back. In this video I'm going to walk you through two installation methods. One for a lightweight 4 gig setup and one for a higher capacity 64 gigs install. By the end of this video you'll have a fully working Android TV system that fits in your pocket. You can take it anywhere, just plug, boot and play. Now just to be clear, I didn't create these files. Credit goes to Tulio and Bruno for putting this together. I'll leave links in the description so you can download everything you need from their Telegram group. Also, I couldn't help myself. I had to try a bit of retro emulation too. I'll show you that at some point during the video. But before we jump in, if you enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think of this setup. For this build, I'm using a Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon, second generation. It's paired with an Intel Core i7-4600U, Intel HD graphics, 8GB of RAM and a 240GB SSD. Currently it's running Ubuntu 24.04. I also got my trusty mini wireless keyboard for easier navigation. And the start of today install a 128GB USB 3.0 flash drive. I highly recommend using a quality USB stick, older or slower drives can make everything painfully sluggish, so if possible go for USB 3.0 or better. Just so you can get a closer look, here's a quick glance at the system specs of the Lenovo ThinkPad I'm using for this build. This way you know exactly what kind of hardware I'm working with and it will give you a better idea of what to expect in terms of performance. Alright, let's kick things off with the easier setup, the 4 gig storage install. Head over to the Telegram group, link in the description, and once you're in, we're going to download three files. First, look for the Pixel TV 11 ISO, it should be right at the top. Then, scroll down and grab both the data 8 gigs and data 4 gig zip files. These data files will allow you to choose how much internal storage your Android TV setup will have. To keep things nice and organized, go ahead and extract the contents of the Pixel TV ISO into a new folder. Name it something like Pixel TV Extracted. This will help with our second installation. Now we're going to flash the ISO to your USB stick. Open up Rufus. Plug in your USB drive into your PC, drag the ISO file into the boot selection area and click start. You'll see a few prompts pop up, just click OK or yes to everything. After a few minutes the process will be complete and your USB will be bootable. Now I tried to extract the 8 gigs data zip file directly to our USB drive but it failed and here's why. Our USB was formatted to FAT32 during the ISO flashing process and FAT32 has a known limitation. It can't handle individual files larger than 4 gigs. So if you're planning on using a bigger data.image file like the 8 gigs or 64 gigs version, this method won't work without reformatting or creating additional partitions. After you extracted the 4 gigs data image file to your USB drive, you can do a quick check in your file manager to make sure everything is in place. The folders, the system files and the data.image. At this point, your USB stick is ready to boot. Android TV with 4 gigs of usable space. But in my case, I want to go beyond that, on the larger storage capacity, so let's jump into the second installation method and preparation for that now. Moving on the 64 gigs installation, first open Create and Format Hard Disk Partition in Windows. You'll want to locate your USB drive, make sure it's the right one, then right click and delete the existing volume from our previous install. Next we'll create two partitions. First partition, right click on the unlocated space, new simple volume, make it 150 megabytes, format as FAT32 and label it boot. And for our second partition, 
create another simple volume using the rest of the drive, format as NTFS and label it Pixel TV 11. Once completed, your USB will be properly partitioned and ready for the next step in the install. So, just to show you, click again on the FAT32 partition of your USB. We will format again on the FAT32, just label as boot. Now let's copy over the necessary files, open your Pixel TV extractive folder, these are the files we unpacked earlier from the ISO. In the step 1, select and copy the first 6 files and paste them into the FAT32 partition labeled boot. As in step 2, head back to the Pixel TV extracted folder and copy the last 3 files, paste them into the NTFS partition labeled Pixel. With that done, let's add our storage, head back to the Telegram group, go to the Files section and download the archive labeled Data 64 zip. Once downloaded, extract its content directly into your NTFS partition pixel. This will set up the data storage for your Android TV install. Now let's boot straight into Android TV. First, you need to restart your PC. While it's rebooting, have your USB plugged in, press your fastboot key, this will vary depending on your machine. On most Lenovo laptops like mine, it's F12, but yours could be Escape, Key, F10 or F2, or maybe something else. Once you're in the boot menu, just select your USB drive from the list and that's it, Android TV should now start loading. And here we are, Android TV is booting right from the USB. First step, select your language, next go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi network, so we can continue with the setup. Super simple, just like setting up an Android device. Next, let's do a quick checkup. Head over to Settings, System, About, and we can clearly see it's running Android TV 11. Now go back to storage and here we go, just what we wanted, around 63 gigs available, perfect for installing your favorite apps, games or emulators. Exactly the goal we had with the high storage setup. Now let's open up YouTube and Jellyfin and do a quick test for video playback and sound, just to make sure everything is running smoothly.
And finally, saving the best for the last, we'll run a quick emulation test. I'm launching a PSP game to see how well it performs. And for this one, I'm using my Easy SMX controller. So that wraps it up, a fully portable Android TV setup running right from a USB stick. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you found this helpful. Let me know down in the comments if you managed to get it up there and running. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.